Okay, here's one of the newest projects. This little chip there, it's a 32-bit microprocessor. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz transceiver on it, so I can do Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Um, I just got a, a little um, two-line by 16-character LCD um, display, like my little cardboard uh, set up there. Got it hooked up to a 9-volt battery here. This uh, binder clip is just being used as the heat sink on that regulator because it gets hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in. Okay, you'll see it boot up. Now what it's doing is it, uh, it logged into my router um, and my SSID is that WOW0060. And then the IP address assigned by the router is 192.168.0.15. Now what does that let me do? Um, I can come over here and using my phone hold on okay using my phone here I can go to um, via the internet I can go to a page and now if you watch the board over there the LED turned on uh, which is cool now using the phone here I can go to another page or another link and turn it off so you see the LED is off here. Let's do that again. So doing this via the phone, um, you'll see the red light come on the board. All right. I don't know if you can see it like right there. All right. Here, let me back off a little bit. And now I'll send the off command, and it goes off. And then I'll hit the reset the display, and there we go. So that little chip right there is actually running a little web server and uh, TCP IP stack that's written in C++, uploaded via those little headers there. And uh, that's it, the Internet of Things. It's pretty neat.